Hey everyone! So, going over the footage from our weekend stay at the Lake Nona Wave Hotel, I found some footage and I was cracking up. If you've ever wondered what Steve and Caleb are doing while I am alone in the hotel room doing the room tour, here is a little glimpse of what goes on. Yeah, it's a cool table, huh? Look at that couch. It's on its side. I don't know. Pretty crazy though, huh? You gonna sit on it? That's what the normal side is, but this might be a funky hotel, huh? It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> All right, let's look around some more. Come on. It is the next morning and we are rushing. <laughs> we have breakfast reservations at eight o'clock. We woke up so late, we were so tired. Hey man, you ready? We're a few minutes late, but we're hustling. All right, we made it. We're we did it. Haven Kitchen. It's quite early, we are at 8 a.m., so it's a beautiful <laughs> restaurant, though. I like the appliances yeah, here, so. I'm um, excited to kick off the day right, bright and early here, <laughs> with breakfast and uh, the rest of the day's activities. So as you saw, this is our table, and we've got a window seat, and out here we've got the pool deck. It looks so cool, so we're gonna be doing that a little bit later. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of funny because they have Barbie the movie uh, floaties in the pool. So this is gonna be fun. Whoa, that looks yummy. I'm gonna play my game yet. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I'll throw that out. For breakfast, I decided to go big. I'm on vacation. I want to have a good time. I got the buttermilk pancakes. This is served with Florida orange, whipped cream, and candy pecans. For Caleb, off the kids' menu, he got the ham and cheese croissant. Looks very good. And Steve went with the Haven omelet. This is a two egg omelet, toast, bacon, and breakfast potatoes. So how's your ham and cheese croissant? Is it good? All right, ham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are we gonna do today? We go swimming. We're gonna go swimming? And that guy said we can swim every week. Yes. We can go after too. Yeah, so we were just visited by um, the manager of the area. I think his name is German or Jermaine, and he mentioned that we have a cabana available to us all day long. So we're excited about that. That's for sure. Yeah, this kid loves pool days, so we'll have another great one. Okay, so we have wrapped up breakfast, yeah. and now we're gonna check out the lobby. I love this like tree they have right here in the middle. So we're gonna walk down these steps here. It's very quiet in here this morning. Um, it's only. It's only 8.50 right now, but last night this place was hopping, which is really, really cool. Got the lobby bar here. So this is Bacan, so that's where we had dinner last night. And then right here is just the main lobby and the bar. <laughs> the lobby here is so cool. There's like, there's just so much going on and there's so many just like, like odd moments that like really pop out. There's just, it, anything you look at is interesting. Oh, and little man found Rosie the robot charging over there. <laughs> okay, so we are back in the room now, and little man was so tired because um, we did have he he didn't want to get up this morning. Well, we so he's resting. By all definition, he didn't get to bed till like what ten thirty last night. Yeah, it was pretty late night for him. And then we had to get up at seven o'clock. So normally he gets a good 11, 12 hours of sleep. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, he needs rest because we have another activity plan and. About 24 minutes, we gotta start heading there. But yeah, so uh, Steve and Caleb are gonna go do some rock climbing. Yeah, so I'm filling out the release form right now, making sure we have access to the Lake Nona Performance Club, which is a five minute walk from this hotel and it's included in our stay, which is kind of cool. Rock climbing, Mike has something like coming up for himself as well. So uh, it's gonna be good for us to move around and not just have this vegetative state in a hotel stay. And I, <laughs> I'm gonna go have a nice massage. Yeah, I wonder who won that one. <laughs> No, it'll be fun. I think Caleb's pretty excited about doing rock climbing. We'll see. This is the first time he will actually do it. I mean, he has right. a rock climbing thing on his playground in our backyard, so it's not like it's going to be foreign to him. Mm -hmm. uh, but pretty excited about that. And then, um, you know, we're going to work that up and get a lot of exercise, and Mike's just going to lay on a table and just relax. <laughs> and all the worries melt away. It is convenient that you had the massage because you woke up with a stiff neck yesterday yeah. before travel. So you need this. So there you go. 
Yeah, I didn't want to be a buzzkill, but yesterday, like Sue said, I woke up with the worst stiff neck. I was like, it never fails, right? So the fact that they were able to get me a massage at the last minute is amazing. We are having such a great time here. And in case you were interested, yes, little man and dad finished the Lego, the Lego building project. So that was all them. I'm terrible at Lego. All right, we've made it outside. I have to admit my lens is a little foggy because of the humidity here, um, but it's just a short little walk. So there's our hotel. And then the Lake Nona Performance Club is right here. So it's just a simple, easy walk. And here we are, the Lake Nona Performance Club. Perfect. All right, the little man is getting geared up, suited up for his rock climbing adventure. <laughs> oh, look at this, man. Down to the left and unclip. Okay. So down to the left, unclip. And then when you do that, you're gonna unclip it from here. Okay. And go ahead and clip it to this black part of his okay. arms. You just grab these things and then you put your feet on the next rock, <laughs> oh, just like here. you do at home. There you go. Oh my goodness, you're and just, you just like. For the next one. There you go. You're just like Link. You are like Link. <laughs> you're doing good. So find the next rock. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, look at you, All right, man. Look for your foot. Where are you gonna put your foot? Here. Okay. You need good. Put your foot up here now. Hold on. Okay. So now we're gonna try this one. This one. That's, I. That's this one's little, not as that's high. That's a little bit lower. Yeah, it's not as high. All right. Let's see how this one goes. Hey, you're really getting the hang of it, man. Awesome. Hey, you're doing good, man. Look at that. <laughs> okay, this wall has proven to be much easier for him. He was struggling a little bit with that first one. You are very high, man. Whoa! And that's his favorite part. <laughs> so what do you think? You like it? Yep. Yep. <laughs> what do you think? I'm surprised that you took to this so quickly. <laughs> I mean, like I said, he does have like a little tiny rock wall, like maybe like this high in our backyard that goes to his playground. Right. But he's like a Spider-Man up there. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I think he was a little nervous about this at first, but I kind of told him, if you, if you know like the new Zelda games, Link uh, climbs a lot of stuff. One? And so I was like, you're gonna be like Link. You get to climb all those mountains. Use your feet, use your feet. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Hey, you push away get push away against the wall. Good job. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was gonna say it was a better landing, but maybe nope. not. So we did show up a little early to this yeah. and they were able to accommodate right away. So that was pretty cool. So I get to see some of this. My massage is in about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna head out here pretty soon. But I'm not sure how long he's gonna want to be doing this though. Yeah. Yeah. So My I think to your shoulders. Oh yeah. Oh uh, I know, you're so high up. But I think it's a good like break from getting out of the hotel and being able to do something physical like we talked about. Yeah, right? for sure. So I'll, I'll, I'm just hanging out with him until he gives up on doing this. Or not gives up, but has <laughs> enough of it. And then uh, we're gonna head back to the hotel, probably get ready for our, our pool day. You got it. Hey, you're doing good. You're doing good fighting all that footing. Whoa, okay, let me know. Jump up. <laughs> scared me. <laughs> hey, good. nice landing. Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> Right, that was we, a good one. How about we go up one more time and then we'll give the person behind you a chance, okay? Wow. Okay, uh, I think I think Dad can reach you. <laughs> Push back. Good job, man. Awesome. All right, we're gonna give someone else a chance. At this point, I left to go get my massage, and let me tell you, it was fantastic. I tried to tell you guys about it and talk about it um, afterwards on the walk back to the hotel, but I must have hit something and didn't record the whole thing. But while I was doing that, Steve and Caleb went to the pool to go grab our cabana. All right, so this is going to be our cabana for the day. So we are, of course, loving our typical cabana life. And uh, look at the setup. Looks pretty cool. So we got these two front chairs where you can lounge out in front of the pool. And then, of course, we have a sectional couch over here. Some nice tables for our drinks and food. We got a fridge over here. And then in here is gonna be, you know, the TV remote, a DVD player, some extra towels, and again, an extra large big screen TV. And to keep us cool, 
a fan. Okay, so just kidding, we are actually in this cabana. The last one apparently had a uh, fry TV from the rain that just went through here. So Caleb's already in here enjoying his TV shows he likes. We got these awesome floaties that they put in here for us to use. So as you can see here, we have the floaties, and Mike pointed this out that this is all themed after the upcoming Barbie movie, which is kind of cool. We have a ball back there. We have our fridge here. Let's see if they have anything in it. Oh my, it's a fully stocked fridge. Caleb's gonna love that. Okay, so we have already um, gone for a swim and we're taking a quick little break here because they delivered some more stuff here to our cabana. So apparently a part of the cabana is a total of 10 either high noon or beers. Uh, you know us, we're not really uh, big beer people, so we have these. They're gonna start us off obviously with just this amount. They also uh, included champagne as well. So Mike is totally gonna love that. He just messaged me and said he's done with his massage. So he's on his way to meet us. We're pretty excited about all the offerings that are included here in this cabana. Like I said, we got the high noons, we got some champagne. I believe we also get an appetizer, an entree, a few other things as well that she mentioned are gonna come and uh, it'll be an awesome day. Okay, so taking a quick break from our cabana, we have decided to come back to Haven Kitchen. Um, this is actually where we had breakfast, but now we're gonna try their lunch menu. It looks like the menu is very similar to what's out in the cabanas. Yeah, but but the cabana like... does have a limited version of this menu, so right. this is a little bit more. Yeah, there's a few more yeah. options I noticed right after that, like a braised beef cheek. I didn't see that out Probably there. doesn't taste all that great out in the sun. Yeah. Next to the pool. <laughs> all right, so as you guys shared, I filmed the cabana, Mike wrapped up his massage, and he met us there for a little bit. I did. I don't think you dipped in the water yet, right? I have not, no. Because I knew we were coming here. Yeah, so. that's smart. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> but uh, I do know that the overcast guy has cleared up. So by the time we wrap it with lunch, it's going to be a perfect pool afternoon. I think so. Yeah. 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 So Caleb just announced lunchtime. It is lunchtime, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I get hungry. My starving. My my tummy said is it's hungry right now. All right, let's get you some food. Yeah. All right, so. Um, we have been fed very well so far on this trip, <laughs> very well on this trip. <laughs> so I think, um, you know, in general, we may not do like a three course lunch because we also have dinner tonight. We might just do something kind of easy, kind of casual and get back to the pool. I've also, you know, already had a cocktail at the pool. I'm going to try the zero proof cocktail just to, you know, extend the day a little bit more, <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. Cocktails have arrived and I went with the Zeus and the Swan. This is Four Roses bourbon, exotic citrus, syrup, and club soda. And mine has arrived. This is the Botanical Breeze. Now, as I said, this is a zero proof cocktail. You can see the color here. It's influenced by the grapefruit soda, but it's very light, refreshing. Cucumber, rosemary, coriander syrup, and grapefruit soda. Again, this makes for a great like spa, like drink experience and again kind of helping me extend the day a bit here while we move to the pool right after lunch. Lunch has arrived and I went with the Haven Burger. This is prime beef, smoked gouda avocado, crispy bacon, tomato, dill, and mustard aioli with fries. And I ordered the blackened turkey and avocado sandwich. This is multi-grain applewood bacon, onion jack cheese, normally with tomato, you know I ordered that without that, bib lettuce and garlic aioli served with kettle chips on the side. This looks amazing. A huge tower of turkey and avocado sandwich. And Caleb got the kids cheeseburger and look at this. Isn't that so cool what they did on the bun bud? Okay. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? I don't see the rest of the lines. You're up. right. Yeah. Yeah. Better eat that fast so I can see it. That's <laughs> crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. Yes, okay, so jumping ahead, as you can see, we have finished up our cabana day. We had a lot of fun. Did you have fun in the cabana? Yeah. Yeah. Dad got me a chill pill. Oh, Dad got you a chill pill? Yeah. But one thing we forgot to mention, um, we got a complimentary uh, tray of fruit. Um, we didn't really do much of it at the pool, so we brought it back to the room so we can nibble on this later on. And I don't think we actually mentioned our food that we had for lunch, did we? Did we like do like Not a really. Recap? No, okay. we had. Um, <laughs> well, we had a moment. Someone in our party didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> he yeah. was about getting back to the pool, so that's right. what it is. So, so you know, it's it. It was a basic lunch. Nothing to write home about or anything like that. I'm not complaining about it, but obviously it was lunch. It did what it needed to do. Yeah. So. Um, my burger was good. The fries were delicious. I love those fries. Yeah. My sandwich was great. It was basic, which is fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, um, you know, Caleb, Caleb was just all about getting back to the pool. So he nibbled a little bit on his. Most of his was just in a take takeaway box. So. Yeah. Now, the cocktail I had, you already had it at the cabana. Correct, yeah. Um, I didn't realize when I ordered it, because I just did it quickly, I didn't realize it was a bourbon cocktail. 
It was good. I just I don't I don't really understand bourbon drinks like that for Cabana. Well, was, it was, was refreshing. It had like club soda, and it was a little sparkly. So yeah. And plus, you know, I like bourbon. You like bourbon too. So I just I did. I just was not expecting that. You were ordering that. under the gun. So I got. <laughs> I know. It. Yeah. Right. But so now we are going to dinner. We are going to a place called Chroma. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna walk over there right now. So let's get going. Chroma's not a part of those hotels. So we actually had to walk to right. that location. So here we go. So the area where we're going is called Boxy Park, and it looks like there's a bunch of little restaurants, little things to do out there, kind of like an outside street fair of sorts. Um, it's just down this walkway. <laughs> you can see uh, Steve and Caleb up ahead, because I got, uh, I stay behind to get some exterior shots of the hotel real quick. I'm gonna go run up and meet them. So making our way around here, we can hear the live music playing, or rather like a live DJ going on. So it's got a really energetic vibe. Oh, and here it is. Chroma, modern bar and kitchen. All right, and you all know I'm a whiskey enthusiast. They have a great selection here, starting off with the classic Blantons, moving all the way up from Stag Jr. And we got some Buffalo Trace antique collection, Pappy Van Winkle, you all heard that in the past. They have a really stellar whiskey selection here. Awesome. Walking right in, already Steve is in love. He's taking photos of their bourbon collection. It looks awesome. Here. I already talked about it, but this is a great selection. Okay, so we have sat down. We have a nice little booth all to ourselves here. Our server has come around and already explained and introduced the restaurant to us. Basically, this is like a tapas style restaurant. Which Mike say. is all about tapas, yeah. right? <laughs> but I do see like some sliders on there. There's cheeseburger sliders, yeah. crumb sliders. I'm very excited about that. Well, you got a modern bar style, so I think you're gonna get a mix of that kind of stuff. So. Here is a quick look at their menu. As you can see, we've got two sections to pick and to dine. To pick, he said, is gonna be like appetizers. To dine is more of their small entrees. It is tapa style. But then down here, they've got two feasts, which is gonna be more of like a, a bigger entree, something you can share between two and four people. And then you can choose your accompaniments. Thank you. All right, for my cocktail, I ordered the Smoke and Mirrors. As you can see, it's brought to the table with smoke. It's made with Buffalo Trace bourbon, demerara, walnut, orange, and cherry wood. So the cherry wood is obviously the smoke wood in it. It looks like a classic old fashioned and smells absolutely great. So as I said, this is a great cocktail. It's called the Smoke and Mirrors. It is their riff on an old fashioned. Obviously it's presented to the table with smoke. They actually smoke cherry wood. Uh, it gives you that nice um, aroma right before you have that first sip. But it's a well-balanced old fashioned. The only uh, nuance on that besides the smoke is a walnut bitters in this. Uh, typically you're gonna get orange or Angus fir. That gives it a little bit more of a smoother nutty flavor. So it's a very, very tasty old fashioned. And I went with the French Gimlet. This is Tito's Vodka, Bergamot, Mint, Lime, Lemongrass, Cilantro, and Daikon. And my drink is really tasty too. It's very light, very refreshing. I do notice like when I, it does have cilantro in it, which okay. I didn't realize it until after I got it. And when I smell it, it's like, oh my. But I don't taste the cilantro, okay, so that's, that's good. good. Yeah. But so, it's good, I like it. Otherwise it would just taste like a very clean, soapy cocktail. Right, yes. yeah. I like it, it's good. Awesome. Appetizers have shown up, and we were not able to decide on just one, so we went with two. So first up, we have the pork spare ribs. This comes with a dry rub, green onion emulsion, sesame, and pickled radish. And here we have the whipped ricotta crostini, Sicilian pistachio butter with slow roasted tomatoes. This looks awesome. So I went ahead and dived into this whipped ricotta crostini. It is fantastic and Steve decided to go with the spare ribs and I've heard nothing but great sounds going on over there. <laughs> These pork spare ribs are very flavorful, however, they are spare ribs, so uh, pretty light on the meat, right. but again, this is a great appetizer. You got the topping on here, the shallots really add a nice crust to it, and I like the dry rub that they put on top. In general, it's flavorful. You can definitely have that tender feel. I think they're pretty good. And the whipped ricotta crostini is perfect. I think that whipped ricotta, it's like a cloud. It's so delicious, full of a lot of flavor. I like it a lot. Dinner has arrived and I went with the chroma sliders. This is white cheddar with bacon, onion, jam, and chroma sauce. And for me, I ordered a twist of fate, typically something Mike would order. I ordered the prime skirt steak wedge salad. So it comes with a nice prime skirt steak, 
wedge salad, which I'm going to be chopping up here and likely sharing some with Mike. All right, I am halfway through one of these sliders, and let me tell you, it is delicious. It's rich. It's okay. Actually, first thing I want to talk about is the fact that when he set it down, I was a little surprised because it had two sliders. Usually, you see three. I can see why because they are very rich. It kind of tastes like booth bourguignon. Okay. It's very good. I, I think some? it's that onion jam. Oh, really? Okay. Um, and the, the meat is really well cooked. It's super tender. That is a very thick slider on top of that. Well. It is, and it's on a good, like, brioche bun. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. My steak is cooked perfectly. It's absolutely tender. You get that from that prime side that uh, in the description of the steak. It did take a lot of work, I'll commit, to really chop up this wedge salad. Mike always makes fun of me because I like all the ingredients to be incorporated. Sometimes, like, you just kind of slice through it and just yeah. try your salad. I like to have all the dressing, all the flavor, that perfect bite. So it took some time. My hands are a little cramped, but I think <laughs> I think we're good. The flavors are overall are very tasty in this. All right, so I have Steve's salad, but I'm going to admit, we have been flipping back and forth. I think this is, what, our third time flipping back? Yeah. So it's something why you order as a couple. So we all share what you like. And this is, again, why I like tapas, Mike. You're yes. able to get a little bit of everything. But this salad is very, very good. I like it a lot. Um, but as I mentioned, I know I already said this, but this slider is so delicious. But holy moly, is it rich. So I don't think I can eat any more of it. It's so, it, it's good, but it's rich. Yeah, so I know you, you call it the beef bourguignon flavor. And I think it's really the thick cut bacon that you typically put in your beef bourguignon. Okay. That they have on top of here as well, plus the onion. I get that overall flavor profile. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. And we have finished up dinner, so now we are gonna head out. I think we're gonna look around at some of the stuff. Thank you. Okay, we got some pictures happening. <laughs> I think little man's tired, and it is very loud out here. So across the way, there is this boxy park place, and they've got some live music going. It looks really cool. I don't think we're gonna make it this time. I think little man has reached his limit. But in case you're wondering, so there's where we had dinner and they've got a lot of lively stuff going on over there, but that's our hotel right there. So it's like what, three minute walk? Yeah, super easy. As we're walking back, I noticed this, I was telling Steve, I was like, oh my gosh, of course, now the sky is perfect. The entire weekend we've been here, it's been very overcast, which has actually been great because the weather has been really nice. It hasn't been overly hot. But as we're walking back, I'm like, oh my gosh, we gotta hurry. Cause I feel like the best spot to stand is right over there in front of the parking garage to get that really great shot of the hotel. So we're gonna race over there right now and get some good footage and some good photos of the hotel while the sky is gorgeous. Steve told me to just go on over there, so I'm hustling over there. Don't want to lose that magic hour. There it is. There's that golden... What, do you call it magic hour or golden hour? I was always told it was called magic hour. But there it is. There is that magic hour shot. You taking good pictures, man? Okay, good. Hamming it up for the camera. What's that? As far as humidity, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's, I was just saying on the way over here, the weather's been very nice. It's been overcast, yeah. which is made for kind of like gloomy shots, but... Hey, um, we'll take that over... It's, it's comfortable. Yeah, exactly. We'll take that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and in case you were wondering, I know we get called bougie because we use valet all the time, but uh, <laughs> they do have valet here. Yes. But if you want to self-park your car, it's literally just right across the street, so an easy walk. Walking back into the hotel, we get a look at the lobby. I'm surprised there's no one here. When we left, it was very, very full. So I guess it just depends on what time you come in as to whether or not you can grab a seat or not. Um, but I wanted to show you it right now because as you can see, as the sun is setting, it's very moody in here. Very nice. We got some live music going on. Can you see this? All right, so before we head upstairs to our room, a little man wanted to check out the games here. They've got some tic-tac-toe games, they've got some chess games. He's really fascinated with the Jenga game. I'm just trying to get him to build it here. But I think the plan is, I think you're gonna grab us a couple cocktails yeah. from down here, and we're gonna take it back up to the room. We'll debrief about the whole stay up. Yeah, because they be did give us vouchers for a couple drinks here at the living room bar. Yeah. So yeah, we'll take those upstairs and... Should be a fun night. A nice yeah. cat for the whole day. As you can see, we've got the master builder hard at work. Looks good? Yeah. <laughs> Dad, look, 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 Dad. Oh, very cool. I'm building this. All right, should I get real here for a second and talk about 
Dad, we were well, laying the table. I think Little Man has had maybe a little bit too much screen time on this trip. Yeah. What do you think? Oh yeah. So we're we're in, we are embracing some yeah. building and puzzling. And I was all just thinking stuff. it's like he loves these building blocks and just like things like this. I think we need more of this kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He did do Lego with us though. He did. Yes. yes. So he he thrived with that for a bit. Right. And then, and then Mike threw out the thing saying you can just build whatever you want, Mike. <laughs> And you then it all went downhill from there. It all went downhill from there. <laughs> no. But yeah, he does really well with this kind of stuff, these kind of toys. Uh, it's so hard to make a roof. Yeah, it's going to be harder to make a roof with this one because they're not magnetiles. Remember what I said? It's not magnet. They're going to, yeah, you got to be really careful. All right, so Caleb and I are back in the room. Um, Caleb's probably going to be going to bed very shortly because it's already, oh my goodness, what? Okay, I had no idea. It is almost nine o'clock. I thought it was around eight o'clock. But um, I think Caleb's gonna be going to bed pretty soon here. Steve is downstairs getting us some martinis. As we mentioned, we're gonna be debriefing on the weekend. We're gonna have a good time. Um, but one thing I just now realized, as you can see, our room is very nice and bright. We even go, so one thing that's really cool with these lights that they've got here, let me see if that will focus in. As you can see with our lights here, you can have like lights on, you can have relax. I think I was hitting relax. Yeah, because it's like kind of dark in here and I'm, oh. As you can see, I was like, oh, it's really nice. It's really pretty. It's very, like, it's definitely got a vibe to it. I didn't realize that you can just, like, turn the lights on and then adjust however you want uh, up or down on there. So, okay, here we go. We want the lights on for this. <laughs> Have you ever traveled up 16 floors in a long hallway with martinis in your hands? <laughs> and the hardest thing is that... Let I us still, know in the comments below. I still need to use the card... <laughs> To be able to get access oh, right. to the floor as well. Oh, so right. Okay. It is very challenging. Here, let me, I'll get the door for you at least. Oh, thank you. Okay, so this is our last night. Tomorrow we check out. It was um, a very short trip. It, it was, yeah, yes. it was a quick weekend. Yeah, of course. It takes a lot for us to get out here. But we came out Friday. We left. We're leaving tomorrow on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, two nights. Fantastic stay. It was. Yeah. It really was. And I know, I know, you know, as we mentioned, we were hosted. We did not have to pay for a thing on this trip. No, not really. um, but that has not clouded our judgment in regards to giving you guys the reviews. I know you guys really appreciate that yeah. we are honest with reviews. Yeah, so, like, again, I just want to re take this moment and just kind of reflect on our stay, right? Yeah. So I have to say, like, the modern appointments of this hotel is definitely reminiscent to me. The actual lobby, the, the living room, all mm -hmm. that. Reminiscent of, a, like, a new age Las Vegas hotel. Like, it has, okay. like, that next level of, you know, sophistication, which is what you kind of like. Right. It's not as moody and or as clubby as, like, a W hotel, which I love. Mm -hmm. This seems like it's much more of a... A boutique kind of style hotel. Funny you should say that. When I was out downstairs collecting some footage of the lobby, I was thinking it kind of is a blend of, in for, I was thinking Hollywood, you were saying okay. Vegas. I was thinking it's like a blend of a boutique hotel meets Hollywood glamour. Okay. No, I get that with the slanted, you know, brass and all yeah. that. It's very, the appointments are very beautiful and I, I totally get the Hollywood in the bathroom. Right. Yeah. So totally sure. get that. So uh, again, I think the hotel is beautiful. The hotel rooms are very nice and clean. You could tell it's a yeah. new hotel. You have nothing that looks like it wear or tear or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's very technology driven as well, which is, is which is very nice. Also, sometimes it takes us a bit to figure out what's going on. Like, the, the toilet is quite the experience. Yeah, Mike was in the other room and he like shut off the lights in here. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> but uh, we figured it out. Yeah. We, we totally figured it out. Um, so let's start with the highlights and then I'll hit the low lights. Okay. And, and again, we just want to be completely honest with yeah. everybody here. But highlights, uh, the con was phenomenal. Oh my gosh, it really was. And even if we didn't like get the chef tasting experience, which we definitely recommend you do because that mm -hmm. was phenomenal. Um, but all each individual entree was good to stand on its own. For sure. Uh, we actually had a hard time like picking for each course. What was our favorite? Mm -hmm. So I think for me, the low was the, tu the tuna crudo. I'm thinking of like our appetizers. Mm -hmm. It was very good, but I think it was the lowest. I liked my, my favorite was that um, foie gras. It was the foie gras, yeah. Yes. Holy moly, that was so good. So you think the tuna crudo is low on your list because you don't like tuna crudo all that much? Yes, because okay. I'm not a huge, like I'm not gonna go out and seek out sh seafood, shellfish, anything like that on but my own. I do enjoy it, it was very fresh, very mm -hmm. flavorful. It was, yeah. It's very spice forward. So the entire meal had very much kind of like a hidden spice as like the single red thread mm -hmm. throughout all of it. And that's the Latin America influence, I think that goes in with that. 
Um, but honestly, one of the biggest highlights for Bacon was Caleb's experience. He yeah. absolutely loved, even to today, that robot called <laughs> Rosie. Rosie, and he loved it. He, he did. did. This morning when we were walking around, he actually saw it charging this yeah. morning, and he thought it was like the coolest thing ever. He exactly. got to see her again. And then we went to other restaurants, we went to the dinner tonight, and like, do you have a robot named Rosie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now that's a standard moving forward. Um, you know, oh, and, by the way, so what are we drinking? We got martinis. Oh, yes. I've got my Hendrix gin martini. Shock. What not, do you have? Not whiskey. I am doing a vodka martini because vodka to me is just a little bit lighter, crisper. And but what vodka are you drinking? Belvedere. Oh, okay. Yes. Low lights. I don't really want to say it's a low light. It's just mm -hmm. very, like, middle of the road, what you expect. It just do, is not worth the drive if you're staying at Disney to come out for the breakfast here or the lunch here. Um, Haven okay. was... Okay, okay. You're talking about Haven. Haven, yeah. Okay. Haven was good for good restaurant in your hotel. I don't think it's a destination for people to want to travel far and wide to be able to go and enjoy. Right. Um, it was very like the staples. Uh, you had a burger. I had a club sandwich. Mm -hmm. I had an omelet for breakfast. You had pancakes. Had pancakes. The pancakes were good, but yeah, like, were. but you could probably get something similar within the Disney bubble if you're traveling. Probably. Which goes into the biggest negative I think about this particular hotel. It's just the location. Yeah. And it's great. So I was thinking about this. If you are, it's not good for tourists. If your ideal situation is to hit up the theme parks, mm -hmm. it's not convenient to Universal, SeaWorld, Disney. Uh, so just know that, right? It is very conveniently located next to the airport. So if you do arrive it's, late, yeah. this might be a good, you know, first night hotel if you don't want to like drive the 30 minutes to get inside the bubble of the, of the theme park area. Um, but I was actually thinking, who would actually visit this? I think this is going to be a big local spot. Okay. And I think it would be like a great staycation for anybody for sure. close by. You have the entertainment scene right downstairs, or, uh, down the street. Uh, there was obviously a concert going on. Great food out there as well. Yeah. Uh, there was just an open bar in that grassy area. Like, mm -hmm. you could just get whatever you want. So this, to me, feels like it's very much a local hot spot. And this would be a great um, place to have for a weekend. Uh, which leads me back into the positives. If you're local... One of our favorite things that was that happened today was the cabana situation. Oh yeah, it was and awesome. We love cabanas. I think you know that, but we love the fact that it gives us a space to chill out and not constantly be in the pool, be exposed mm -hmm. to the sun all day long. Right. And for a day for a day like today that it was kind of cloudy, there was intermittent rain allowed us to kind of get out of that and just kind of re relax and rest. For sure. But the amenities that are getting included are awesome. Yeah, so with the cabana, I mean, you saw we got like 10 of those like- High drink, noons. The high noon drinks. The high noons or beer that they were offering. Yeah. We chose high noon. And even though Mike's not a huge fan of those, it's better right. than that than nothing. We got a bottle of champagne. Yeah. We got a cold platter. Cause we got the fruit. You could have also gotten- um, uh, An appetizer, but we just had lunch. So we, yeah. we kind of, you know, slept on that for a bit. Mm -hmm. But in general, like I love, I love any cabana that gives you the extra stuff included as well. For sure, well. yeah. So it gives you that little bit like, oh, I'm in the cabana. I'm living the cabana life. It's all great. <laughs> yeah. And plus, Caleb lives that up. So yes, he for sure. Does. He loved it. I do want to say also, my massage was amazing. And probably that the was... perfect timing as well with your yes, neck and Yes, for everything. sure. Absolutely. But the lady who did my massage, man, she knew what she was doing. Perfect. It was, I was so relaxed. And then I got to walk out and go right to our cabana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I handled, we I handled, we did the rock climbing, as you know. We started that off as a family. And mm -hmm. then Caleb didn't last much longer after you went yeah. for your massage. He was I like, could tell. he's like, I have access to the cabana. I had access to the pool. I want to do that <laughs> yeah. now. So he did have time. He did have fun with the rock climbing. We did it for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And for his attention span, that's pretty good, actually. Right. So. But uh, yeah, I mean the activities, the um, the activities, the inclusion of the restaurants that we had here, mm -hmm. um, drink coupons that we got, we got some Lego sets that Caleb loved. Like we, everything has been a great experience for us here. We do want to thank again um, Lake Nona Wave Hotel yes, for hosting us you. out here. They also have offered up a discount code that yep. we want to share in our comment or not comments, but in the description below. Yep, it's gonna be right here on the screen. <laughs> right here but uh yeah we definitely recommend you check it out especially for the locals and or if you're here for many many days in your vacation this is a great spot to be able to check out some of the local sites for sure the amazing dinner downstairs mm -hmm. at Macon. it gives you an opportunity to step outside of the theme park bubble yeah well we hope you liked this video if you did please give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and from our magic family to yours enjoy, enjoy.